Welcome to HiCard Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you different methods with which you can use to create a 3D funnel. Now, here is one on the screen, and here are the specifications. Now, before I start, I'll have to set up my join units, which has already been done. So, all I did was to type U and select units and select the type which is decimal um the choose the precision the zero and also the uh insertion scale which i choose as millimeters and just close up that's okay for that setup and also set my workspace to 3d modeling fine so i'm going to switch over to uh, 3d isometric now to start this very drawing so I click on on the view and choose sort is isometric. Okay, so I'm going to start with this very one. And um, what I do here is to draw a straight line to so connect these two ends. Okay. Okay, I'll now have to switch the UCS to top. So I click on on the view and choose top. Then click on circle command and draw the first circle which is here. Now click on circle command again and draw the second circle which is the here. Okay. Then draw the third circle which here at the center and do that. Fine. Now I have all the circles now in place. So the first I'll do here is to use the loft command to loft this circle and this. So I move to the modeling panel, click on this very arrow and choose loft. So I loft these two circles and this. Okay. That's done. Now the next I'll do now is to extrude this very circle. Uh, which height is this? This is to a height of 25. So with the extrude command, click on this and choose extrude. Extrude this very circle now to a height of 25. Okay, that is done. Let me position this well. Okay, that is done. So next, I'm going to use the union command to join this and this. So go to the solid editing panel and click on union and join these two solids. Okay, so I now have one. Now the next thing I'll do now is to shell this very funnel to the thickness I want. I'm going to make the thickness 0.5. So I click on the solid toolbar and choose shell. Now I'm going to shell open up two ends of this very funnel, the top and the bottom. So I click on this top first. Click on this again. Then turn it over and also click on this very end too. Enter 0 0.5. Enter 0 0.5 as thickness. And enter again. So that is done. You can see it is now open. Okay, so the second method. I'm going to draw a vertical line. So I'll return to the home screen. Click on line command and look at this point. The center of this very top line. Okay. Now I'm going to join this line and this. Join these two lines. Right. 
Okay, so with the offset command, I'm going to offset this red line, this poly line now to a thickness of 0 0.5. So I click on the offset command, click on this, specify the thickness which is 0 0.2, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 then click on this and offset okay that is done so the next thing i'll do now is to revolve this very one but before i do that i'll have to close up these ends so i'm going to remove this line remove all these lines erase this once then with the line command, close up these two ends, enter, then close up this very one too. Okay, so with the join command, I'm going to also join them all up. So, join command and join them all. Okay, so, I will now use the revolve command to revolve this very one. So, I click on this and choose revolve. I revolve this, enter, then choose these two points as the axis. Okay. I'm now going to enter an angle of 360. 360. Okay, that is done. Now you can see that this is a full 3D solid. This is also a full 3D solid. Also, let's turn it around and see. You can see that both ends are open, the top and the bottom are all open. So that is it. So I'm going to remove all these lines. They are not necessary now. I'm going to remove all these lines and erase them. Okay, these ones are no more necessary too. So here's the drawing. So that's it completed. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe for more of my tutorials.